So what is architecture? Well, for me, architecture is not definitive. It's, it can be everything for me. I don't have a fixed idea about architecture. Like a few years ago, I started thinking about every morning, what is architecture? What is architecture? And I realized that architecture can be anything. Of course, I'm speaking in the mind of an architect. You don't, you don't, you don't say architecture is uh, it's about building and things, but it can be anything. That's my attitude. So um, it could be easily said. It could be like this. I have, I've had, I've had a, a drive in a Lamborghini. The architecture would be that experience absorbed in architecture. So what I mean by everything came in architecture is that every experience, teeny bits of trivialities or important things, whatever, becomes part of architecture. So your life, your actions, your inspirations, your aspirations, all these things can become architecture. For me, so it's resourceful everywhere. So architecture can be anything and is everything for me. So, what can architecture do? Well, in this sense, you know, architecture can bring about, first of all, I think, kind of emotional satisfaction to people. We talk about architecture in terms of like difficult things, you know, like, you know, history and importance of architecture, all these. Of course, it's all that is, I understand all that. But me, I'd like to talk about how architecture can bring about fun and joy and happiness, and despair too, of course, and tragedy, all these things, you know. And I'm talking about architecture in terms of energy, where this kind of energy is conveyed. This building itself here, it, it's transparent. It, it goes off, it brings heat, it brings light, you know, all these things. And I mean, thinking in terms of these things, interactive, in a real sense, not you know, hypothetical computers and these things, but energy. Interactions in reality, yes. How would you position yourself within the architectural discourse? Well, I would put myself in the in the marginal, <laughs> in between. Oh, I'm an architect. I build, I draw, but I'm not an artist. Uh, I build. I sometimes do performances, but I'm not an actor. I sometimes I'm a, I behave like a joker, but I'm, I'm not a joker. So I'll be in between person. So I'll be in the margins. So I always place myself in a position where it's blurry. And I like that way because once you become something, you get fixed. So I try to be in a position where the most potential is possible. So I put myself in a place where there is the most potential, you know, potential can be done. So that's the position I take. I'm neither that, neither that. But people say I'm an architect. <laughs> so do you have any role models? Or? Well, my role models, wow. Well, you see, I saw Leonardo da Vinci's book when I was very small. I saw uh, Leviosu's book when I was big. Uh, I saw um, many people's work. Uh, so it's more of... Um, having an open attitude towards uh, accepting or being inspired by many things. So I would, I would say that I'm very easily inspired. So <laughs> it's, everything becomes a resource for me. So that's, that's uh, I don't know whether I'm answering in the right direction, but that's, that's what's happening. Um, what is your design method? My design method is very, very um, simple, straightforward. Something comes to mind, and I do it. Sometimes, when you are a student, it takes longer time because you haven't had an experience yet, so you always think about, like, is the, is the canopy right, you know? It takes 24 hours to fix that. Oh, 24 hours. Oh, now it's, it's the right place. But after, if you do it thousands of times, you just, bing, there you go, that's it. So, design method is do it many, many times, and then do it with honesty, and do it with your passion, and then it works. Do you have any values that are important for you? Oh, the values, okay, of course, I'm being too open about, I'm too wide, am I? Okay, the value is this. Um, 
I feel the value of architecture can be expanded to a wider angle than now it's too narrow in a way because actually architecture is all encompassing this discipline. It has become too small, so I think it should be big and absorb a lot of things, get inspired and make it in a big kind of box of architecture. So that's what I believe. So it's, it's architecture can be expanded and can be reinterpreted and thought in a wider sense. And I believe that.